Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this short video, we will be talking about T and pi equivalent network part of the linear transformer. And if you see the figure, this is the T network and then this network is pi network. Now, uh, it is often convenient to replace the transformer with an equivalent network in the form of a T network or pi network. How we will see now. This was the circuit that we solved earlier. And you remember to find the voltages V1 and V2. We had to take care of the induced voltages as shown here. So these induced voltages we had to first of all mark their polarities and then account for them in the network. So this was slightly cumbersome. Now, and in this case, if you remember, the voltage V1 was due to this coil and then plus this induced voltage. So LDI1 dt plus MDI2 dt was the V1. And similarly, we had this equation for V2. Now, this is the T network that replaces this circuit. So, here you just need to write the simple equation. No need to bother about the induced voltage, where to place and what will be the sign, etc. So, this is an advantage. I will not go into the derivative, but I will just prove that they are same. So, let us write the KVL equation or the voltage equation from here. So, V1 is this inductance L1 minus M, so L1 minus M di dt, so we are in the time domain, and plus this I1 is also touching this M, so it will be M di 1 dt, and also there will be uh, effect of this current because it is also flowing through M, so that will be M di 2 dt. So this is part of voltage V1. And if you simplify this, if you just open it, so M di 1 and M di 1, they are get, they'll get cancelled. So the answer will be L di 1 dt plus M di 2 dt, which is same as we got in case of a, uh, the transformer network. And uh, similarly, uh, V2, will also get the same answer, this answer. So this means these two networks are equivalent. A point to note is that in case we change the uh, in the, the, the dot convention, if changing the location of the dots will cause M to become minus M. So this we have to keep in mind that if the dots are let's say placed here, then this M or all the M's will be replaced by minus m. Okay. So, uh, we just learned that this is the replacement of the transformer, the circuit. So, let's solve up. And this was uh, the T network. Similarly, it can be shown that the pi network, this pi network, uh, and their components LA, LB, and LC, are equivalent to these terms of the transformer. So L1 minus L2 minus M square divided by L2 minus M and similarly this term and this term. Okay, now let's solve the example. Find the T equivalent of the linear transformer shown in the figure. So these are very, very simple uh, questions. So we, we know that this is the equivalent. You also know that this is L1, this is L2, and this is M. So just plug in the values. L1 is this one, 30 Henry. L2 is 60. And M is 40 milli Henry. And so plugging in the values, L1 minus M will be minus 10, this one. L2 minus M will be 20 milli Henry, this one. And M is 40 milli Henry. So that is the answer and we can just write it in the diagram. 
So this is how this is so simple to solve. Then we'll do practice problem. If the two networks shown are equivalent, so these two are equivalent, specify the value of Lx, Ly, Lz. Again, just like we did previously, these values are only changed. So this is L1, L2, and M, and plugging in the values, you get the answer. Now, this is part B of the same problem. It says that if the dot on the secondary is located at the bottom, so this was the initial condition, dot were at the top, now the dots are at the bottom. And I hope you remember what is the effect of this at M to become minus M. So let's see how to tackle this. So L1 minus M is the formula. 2 minus, now M is 3.5, so we'll write minus 3.5. So the answer will now be 5.5. Similarly, here we'll write minus 3.5 and here also minus 3.5. So just uh, writing minus M for M. So that is the answer. And finally, another practice problem for a pi network now. If the networks are equivalent, these two specify the value of LA, LB, and LC in millihenries. So we have to find the uh, values of LA, LB, and C. So we just need to draw the circuit with the values. So th these were the values that we had. So all we need to do, since this is common in all three, so let's first of all find the value of this term. L1, L2 minus M1, L1, L2 minus M square. So L1 is 2, L2 is 6, and M is 3.4. So plugging in the values, we get an answer of 0 0.44. And now we can easily calculate LA. So LA is this divided by L2 minus M. This we have calculated 0 0.44. Now plugging in the value of these two, L2 is 6 minus M is 3.4 and solving we get 0.1692 Henry. We have to write the answer in milli Henry so it will become 169.2 milli Henry. And same way uh, we do for B. This is given and M is 3.4 so 129.5 uh, one twenty nine point four milli Henry is the value of L B here. And the third one, L C again, similar formula, just changing L one minus M, putting in the values, and this answer is minus one thirty four point two milli Henry. So I hope this uh, gives you an understanding how to convert and solve problems of T and Pi networks. Thank you.